How you guys doing? Welcome back. Today is March 19th, 2022. You may be wondering why I look just so sensual, just so great. I actually moved my lights around a little bit and kind of made it darker, yet having more light on me. Now I just look like just a, the handsome little boy. Mm. So if you are new, welcome. We're going to be talking about 40 plays I called this last week. Go through all of them, how they did wins versus losses. One, to show what I do actually works, because that's important to do. And then two, to review the plays that I took. We're only going to be reviewing iHeart, the one I took this week. You may be wondering, you missed the whole bull market? Yeah, I did, because I was really busy with life, which is good for you. Because bythebulls.com is coming, the Discord's there, the Patreon's there. All that is going to be going on to the website. So keep your eyes out for that, bythebulls.com. Otherwise, I want to talk about these 40 plays that I have. Gremlin looking good. Let's just double check on him. Okay, that's a good looking boy right there. So Cat looks good. Plays are all here. With that being said, let's get in these 40 plays. Review how our strategy and structure worked this week. So first is ASB. There's no charting on it that is new because I actually was watching and recharted it for a new play. I said buy here. They ran to our price target 6%. ASB was an easy win. I could have put the boxes back on because again, I do... I don't judge by how long it's to hold the play. I go by stop loss, take profit, moonshot kind of thing. And so you'll see in the next one, we have our BKU play here. I have these boxes from my Patreon and Discord folks. So that's how I track how well they're doing. BKU, easy dub, ran up 8%. Again, I could say, oh, I hit the stop loss. I'm going to be fair with myself. Um, you know, it was so close and I can take that away from me. Really good play because I ran so far. Next is CFVI. This one, you can consider it a win as well. We called it, came up, moved a nice 8%, hit our POC, price target was hit, doing it again, looks really good. CLS, another win, quick move, 10% day trade, if not, ran up almost 20% the next few days. A CLS, really good play here, perfectly executed, love to see it. Next is on, again, it held our stop loss, basically fine, ran up 11%, another easy win on on. SAVA, Sava, again, came down. Very close, ran up 10%. I could say it's not a win, but I'm gonna get it myself in this case. Looks really good. TFC, recharting as we speak, but again, it came down, hit perfectly, moved up 6%. TFC, another great win. And then Zion, not like Williams, we have a nice move here of almost 10%. Every call from last, you know, Sunday or whatever it is, Monday, eight out of eight, I'll hit price target. Only a few broke down very quickly beneath the stop loss area. Otherwise, all winners. Love to see it. You can, in fact, swing and day trade just fine this market. Next is ACGL. Another win. Came down perfectly. Ran up 8%. Love to see it. Next is CP. This is an L. Again, it ran up. You would have been stopped out. And it got close the next day on a short, but I think that's too extreme of a breakout. So, again, it would have hit our price target. But for a short, it's an L. Duck is neither. Again, you could lean towards it being a winner because it is down like, you know, what, like, 3%, but it hasn't hit our price target or stop loss yet. Duck is still going. ETR was a win. Ran up. Markets came down nicely. 5% easy win. Love to see it. GNW, neither way here. They came down. I gave myself a pretty large, you know, price target pretty far away. So that's also a uh, neither at this point. J&J &J was an L. It broke through. And then UMH is still holding. Could go either way here. Breakouts, you know, you can go long you want to in UMH. Uh, but right here, we're just waiting to see where it's going to go. And then VMW, two wins. Very easy. I love, I love what I see with that move. Great play. VMW is a win, but UMH and Duck and J&J &J and a few of the other ones haven't actually settled yet. They're not a price target or take profit. So overall, a green day as well, but not as good as I want it to be. It's not 100%, but still pretty good. Next is CWK. It came down perfectly, and then, ah, 10% win. CWK, uh, another great win. HPP, easy short, held, came down, tapped it nicely there. Again, only 4 or 5%, but HPP, great win. iHeart, let's take a second here. I bought and sold iHeart already. The reason is, and I'll show you real quick, on iHeart, and over here, in this day, I bought in a held and then jumped up almost up 5% because I bought in over here. Jumped up about 5% right here. I said, that's good. I'm going to take my profit. I scaled out some. It came down. I scaled out some more right here. What came to our indicators, what I was watching with iHeart was the 50 EMA line. That was my signal. Over the 50, I had a long-term hold. I could have held for weeks, if not months. 
and had a good time. Like we crossed right here, right? 19 days, crossed here, had a good time, almost 13 days. I was waiting for that. I didn't get it. We got gapped up. It started coming down. I took my profit. Stochastic also got overbought. RSI got middle. Green crossed over, but it didn't show much life here. And so, I mean, the technical analysis was pure, right? It was a fine move. But seeing iHeart being kind of shaky, and I didn't know if we're going to break out on the macro markets, I took my profit. Now, for you, iHeart is e neither green nor red. Hasn't hit either yet. So, again, it'd be a neutral one. But for me, it was a green trade nonetheless. Next is KRG. We said easy short again it for a second for like an hour and it came back down perfectly six percent short krg easy win mmp another easy short didn't last crashed beautifully easy win here next is next again very quick not gonna hold that against myself came down almost 20 percent easy short and then lastly for this day well well is the one short that did break out so i think overall we had about six wins one neutral and one loss for that day Hey, that's a really good day. Next is ACAD. This is an L. Again, I could have made the stop loss larger. I even mentioned on the channel, hey, uh, the POC may be your entry point. And it came down and tapped that perfectly and took off. But for me, for the public viewing, I didn't mention that as much as I should have. So that's an L for me. CVET is another L. Again, came down beautifully. Didn't hold. It came back. But again, that's another L. DE, I wanted to short. You would have had... A really nice short here, 4.4%. And then it broke out. So again, this would be a win if my box was higher. But it's not. So we'll be fair. That's three L's. FSK, I thought it was going to break out. It did into the opposite. So that's bad. Four L's. MKSI, again, we bought in here. Ran up beautifully. Came back down. Went back up. But we called it here. A nice win. OFC, easy short. That's a nice win right there. Shoe, the next day whoop real quick right i did it again but that's a nice win as well and then vino again came down very quick and then hit our price target so it's kind of a neutral one as well four losses four wins basically for that day not bad not great but again in this kind of market it's pretty okay next is cpe drop beautifully 12 percent win what more do you want dea Came right to where you want it. Ran up beautifully. Boom. Did it twice. That's a nice win. Oh, that's backwards. HFC. Holding. It hasn't hit our price target yet. I mean, we called it right here. It got very close. Actually, it did. My bad. Let me see. Oh. Called over here. Came down. Easy win on that gap down. HFC. What a win. Good stuff. LLY. Thought it was going to be a nice short. Wasn't broke out. That's okay. MPW. Held beautifully, 4% move, easy win. PRA, I went both directions. The fact that it was an ascending triangle, I wanted to go long, but I had much confidence, so that was a neutral one from the beginning. Couldn't tell you which way it was going to go. PSA, easy win. We see it come down, go up 5%, great stuff. And XPRO, another easy win. What's that? Six wins, one L and a neutral. It's not bad. Let's cover up uh, Friday's picks and see how those are doing as well real quick. So this is ADI. The markets broke out. This also broke out. Now you would have hopefully been down, sorry, we've been shorting one or two percent, then it would have broken even, but ADI did break out. That's an L. COLB, neutral still, hasn't moved. EBC, shorting it. I mean, I wish it would have gone long, but it's coming down beautifully. Near 21, that's a great win, but it's an L in my book. GTM, not doing anything. HBI, doing exactly what you wanted to see. Would have hopefully bought in, been up three or four percent easily right now. HGV holding easy short if the markets are ready on Monday or Tuesday. OC easy short with low risk here, but again, it may break out. And then THO hit our price target. It's hard to tell with my Thursday picks because they're so recently that not many have done anything. But even then, many of those look really good to play. I don't have the math. I got to do it uh, off screen, but it looks like I have maybe like a 75, 80% win rate this week. Um, it does help when the markets run plus three percent it does do that again hey spy do that do that again for me yes so overall that looks really good in this kind of market you can certainly swing you just have to kind of wait for your opportunities and i think when you discuss the structure that we've built and talked about whether it's risk management s fundamental technical mental analysis when it comes down to macro markets writing a trading plan consistency and of course 
uh, forgetting, I'm blanking, goal setting. When it comes to those eight things, you're going to have probably less opportunities this year to buy into, but the runs will be even better than last year. It just comes down to patience, stopping FOMO, and of course, stopping boredom. With that being said, I appreciate y'all very much. We'll see you guys uh, tomorrow for another watch list. But overall, just want to show the validity behind what we're doing here and how it works. Have a good one. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks.